American designers led by Eugene Stoner set out to produce a rifle that was lighter, had a greater volume of fire, but still had enough accuracy at short distances. The result was the M16. Made from steel, aluminum, and composite plastics, it fired a smaller bullet, the 5.56 millimeter, and weighed just over six pounds. At little more than half the weight of the Kalashnikov, it was a lightweight, space-age stuff. But soldiers on the ground weren't convinced. When the M16 was first adopted by the United States military in 1965, the old traditionalists hated it. It looked like a toy and felt like a toy, and they didn't feel that the bullet would actually be effective in combat because it was fairly short range and it didn't seem to do much. When I was in service and using M16s, it didn't seem to have the stopping power that a military firearm should have. We called the Mattel 16 because it was made of plastic. To me, at that time, it was a piece of garbage. The M16 is one of those guns that is either loved or hated. And plenty of soldiers in Vietnam did hate it. They'd been told that they didn't need cleaning kits for their M16s, that they were so advanced they'd never jam. But in the field, the M16 was totally unreliable. We hated it because if it got any grime or corruption or dirt in it, which you always get in any rifle out in the field, it doesn't, it'll malfunction. The, the shells ruptured in the chambers, and the only way to get the shell out was to put a cleaning rod. So you can imagine in a firefight trying to clean your weapon after two, three rounds. It was a nightmare for Marines at the time. Nine of us had M16 seized up in a firefight. We almost got killed. The jamming problems were eventually solved by incorporating a chrome line bore and chamber to eliminate corrosion and stuck cartridges. <laughs> Cleaning kits were also issued and a forward assist button added. Big mama, big mama. Redesignated the M16A1, the rifle was reborn. The M16A1 was a very efficient and a very effective firearm. Now the M16 is a much different weapon because they've had time to perfect it. It very quickly became the Sweet 16. 